there is an object, an unidentified, maybe a flying object, which no one in the world has seen. No human being in the world knows about this object. If it's brought in front of you, and if you're asked, that who will be the first person who will be able to tell you the mechanism of this unidentified object, you're asking the question. Who is the first person who will be able to tell you the mechanism of this new object, which no one in the world has seen? After thinking for a while, you give the answer. The person who will be able to tell you the mechanism, the first person, is the creator of that object. Some may say manufacturer, some may say producer. How did the universe come into existence? How was it formed? We will tell you by the Big Bang Theory. Tell him the Quran mentions in Surah Anbiya, chapter 21, verse number 30, about the Big Bang Theory. Who could have mentioned this in the Quran 400 years ago? So he will tell you, maybe it's a fluke. Don't argue with him. Next part of the question. We did not know the light of the moon is reflected light. We came to know recently. You ask him, he will tell you, yes, yes. The light of the moon is reflected light. It's not its own light. When we discovered, he will tell you recently, yesterday, 50 years back, 100 years back, yesterday in science. You tell him, the Quran mentioned that the light of the moon is reflected light 1400 years ago. Who could have mentioned that? Maybe somebody had a wild guess. Don't argue with him. Continue. We thought the sun was stationary. You ask him, is it stationary? He said, no. It's rotating and revolving. When you learn this, he will tell you yesterday, 50 years back, 100 years back. Quran mentioned this 1400 years ago. He will hesitate. But may say, maybe some intelligent person wrote it. Don't argue with you. Continue. How was the universe initially? What is celestial matter? He will tell you. It was smoke. How did you come to know? We have got proof. We have got evidence. You tell him, Quran mentioned this 14 years ago. Who could have mentioned that? He will hesitate. Don't wait for response. Continue. Keep on posing question after question. All that I give in the lecture, keep on posing one question after the other. That, water cycle. How do we come to know about it? Quran mentioned 14 years ago about every living thing made from water. Who could have mentioned that? Quran speaks about botany, the male and female. Who could have mentioned that? Pose one after the other and ask the question, who could have written that? Then you tell him that there's a theory known as theory of probability. That if you have two choices, out of which one is right, the chances that you will make the correct choice, just at random, is one in two. For example, if I toss a coin, it can either be heads or tails. The chances that I'll be right will be one in two. A dice has got six sides. If I throw a dice, the chances that at random I'll be correct is one upon six. If I throw it twice, the chances that both the time I'll be right will be one upon six by one upon six, one upon thirty-six. This is called a theory of probability. If I throw that dice twice and then toss a coin, all three being right will be one upon six by one upon six by one upon two is one upon seventy-two. So you ask him, the chances may be, if you ask, what is the shape of the earth? There are various shapes. Some may say it is flat, some may say it is triangular, some may say it is hexagonal, some may say pentagonal, some may say heptagonal, some may say square. Say there can be ten shapes. Some may say it is round, it is spherical. The chance is that if anyone makes a wild guess, it being correct, is one upon ten. The light of the moon, it can either be its own light or it can be reflected light. The chance is that you make a wild guess and it being correct will be one upon two. The chance is that both shape of the earth and light of the moon being reflected light. Both being correct, if you make a wild guess, it will be 1 upon 10, multiplied by 1 upon 2, it is 1 upon 20. What can the living creatures be made of? Some may say sand, some may say stone, some may say aluminium, some may say gold, say a thousand materials you can name. Some may say water, some may say silver, a thousand materials. The chances that you make a wild guess, and one of them being right, according to mathematics, is 1 upon a thousand. The chances that all three being correct, the earth is spherical, Light of the moon is reflected light, and every living creature created from water is correct, will be 1 upon 10, multiplied by 1 upon 2, multiplied by 1 upon 1000. Answer comes to 1 upon 20,000, or 0.005 percent. Quran speaks about scientific science more than a thousand verses. In three verses, the chance comes to 0.05 percent. If you apply probability theory to all this being a random chance, it will come to zero negligible. And in maths, anything 1 in 10 raised to 50, it's equal to zero. So you ask your atheist friend, who could have written this? The only answer I can give you is the first answer, the creator, the manufacturer, the person who has produced it. That's the only answer, there's no other answer. What science is saying today is they are not eliminating God. They are eliminating models of God. La ilaha illallah. They are not eliminating God, but models of God.